know, comparing empirical evidence to what we see that the universe is in fact flat. And so we know how the universe began, we know how it's, it's going on on now and we know how it's going to end. Uh, it's an amazing video. I, I highly recommend it. It's Richard Grouse on the richarddawkins.net website. Yeah, well, maybe po post a link, do a video and post a link or something, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go looking for it, but um, yeah, fine. I mean, I guess I could find the Dawkins website. Um, but again, you know, like I said, I just don't, I don't know how you can't, there's too many, I mean, I don't think we we know biological evolution pretty good. I don't think we know the story of the universe all that good yet. You know, I, I mean, that's got a lot of unanswered questions. But I mean, look, it's either recycles itself, it either does this. We just big, pretend you know, we know, right? Big bust thing over and over we and just over again. We know, right? uh, we're just what? You just have to be an asshole, right? You can't be there's there's no other variety of personality you have but asshole. Hmm. No response, of course. Yeah, well, I don't know if Dawkins is like an original thinker or something, or good at this cutting edge stuff. He's 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 like a Carl Sagan. I mean, he's good at doing the let's talk to the regular humans about how things work and da 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 da. da. Yeah, I mean, he writes books, he tells stories, he he explains, you know, things that other people have or that have been well established. Nothing like Albert Einstein. Uh, well, Albert Einstein it wasn't of the, uh, he wasn't of great um, marketing character. I don't know if Einstein would have been Einstein if Einstein was born later, but whatever, asshole. I think I've had my fill of you, so we'll say good evening. Anyway, um. You just reminded me of something, thank you, uh, that I wanted to talk about and that I forgot about it until you just brought it up. That uh, discussion that you had with Piero about, um, you know, Piero was talking about quantum mechanics and the little tiny holes and you said, well, he's trying to insert, uh, I'm paraphrasing you and I may do a poor job of that, but he said, you know, well, you said, you know, the fact that there's these little tiny holes in quantum mechanics and the double slit experiment, et cetera, et cetera. And he's trying to insert uh, unicorns and unicorn eggs. And uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm not trying to suck up to you, but I just thought that was a, that was an amazing, uh, that was an amazing retort. That was, that was really good. That was really good. So I know you, you have very few supporters and followers. I just want to say that, man, that was, that was awesome. Well, yeah, well, I think even the unicorn egg thing was pretty good. <laughs> you know, unicorn eggs. I think that was kind of funny. Uh, you know, I like that one. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. No, like I said, it was good this this week, um, this month even. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, I mean, the pyro is, you know, like I said, he does it. I mean, I'm getting. I'm, I was. I really got pissed off when I thought about it this week, just because of the shit he says is just such. Is that it's shit? And then he sits there, and makes a video, and talks about how he's really a philosopher. And I'm like, no, you're really not a philosopher. But you don't say anything. You don't make any claims whatsoever. Um. You you know, and it's, it's and, and, and you know, it's really easy to critique other people's crap. But you know, what are you asserting a truth to be? I just don't see the point of not asserting anything. 
I really wish uh, Rami would join in the discussion here rather than just uh, type in text comments because uh, I know Rami, I know you're highly intelligent and uh, uh, I value your opinion and I just wish you would uh, join in on the uh, chat room. Yeah, well, his microphone sucks, and he's tired. So he just said that, <laughs> and he really doesn't. He doesn't mind arguing capitalism, and um, African culture, and how brilliant it is, and how great it is to live in the Congo. Uh, but uh, yeah, he doesn't do much of the other stuff. Uh, you know, and he's you know, he's look, he's got a philosophy that's basically, uh, well, it is what it is. I am what I am. I'm here on planet Earth, and I'm going to be Earthling-like. And that's as far as he goes. He really doesn't think about, um, you know, what's this all cost? Does it really make any sense? Uh, blah, blah. This is not his trouble, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's got a grilled cheese sandwich waiting for him tomorrow. He really isn't worried about all this other crap. Yeah, but the problem, the yeah, problem is, if the it's problem just, is, uh, just me and you, it just sounds like a mutual admiration society and everybody goes okay it's two guys who agree with one another I mean I wish I wish uh, more people would join in and ob object or concur either way well I mean the fact that people are here means they concur with some of the stuff I say I think so you know you they wouldn't you know <laughs> they wouldn't put up with me otherwise I don't think um, and uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, fine. Yeah, you, you just kind of wait for it. I mean, sooner or later somebody decides that they're going to challenge something and then you can have a little bit of an argument. But the truth is, there's no... There's no, ar there's no counter argument. I mean, it is what it is. The problem is, is what do we do about it? And that's where the whole thing falls apart because... You, it's really hard to argue against people saying, "Well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get whatever is best for my consciousness until I'm dead," because there's nothing I can't do anything about any of this shit anyway. And so it ends up being a "Don't worry, be happy" kind of thing, and you can't, you know, you don't have any weapon to fight that because the um, the truth is, um, yeah, there's like no point in being miserable if you can't fix it. I mean, the misery is only useful if it motivates you to fix it and if you can't fix it there's just no point in it you might as well be retarded okay well let's see if we can uh, start at the baseline here uh, not that Gary you haven't you haven't done this a million times before, but uh, we'll start at the baseline and see if we can uh, build up from that. Uh, you know, I had this. I've uh, I've put forward these arguments with the most intelligent people that I know. Two, two sigma, people. And three, three sigma people, and uh, none of them get it. Um, everybody, everybody ultimately falls back on. Well, you know. The only thing in life you have to to hope for is hope. You've got to hope that the, the ultimately this is uh, this is all going to work out. And Gary, I know you know where this is going. I mean, you've made at least a hundred videos on this. But where do we start? Yeah, maybe that's a good question. Where do we start in this discussion? Over to you, Gary. Gary, you're the <laughs> one who's retarded. I, I, I'm Native American. Uh, yeah, whatever. Somebody is allowed to kick him. Yes, you may kick him. <laughs> you know, uh, the people I admire. Are you jealous of my land? When I have all this fucking land to myself, do not. Gary, I really think what you were going to be because Jesus is coming back soon, and I really think that you should be saved because when Jesus does come back, I don't want you to go to hell. <laughs> I'm sure Jesus loves having you with his 
<laughs> I'm spokesperson. I'm, I'm your Jesus is just saying, oh, I'm so glad I got that retarded girl to be my spokesperson on Earth because she makes me sound like such a fucking nut fucking cunt head. <laughs> I mean, come on, you think you're doing Jesus a favor? Oh, you, you can't even keep a straight face. Damn. Come on, grow up. Well, I thought it was funny. So, Sun DNA, what's the argument about? Alright, I'll translate. Um, he said, so, Sub DNA, what's the argument about? <laughs> your microphone, what did you do to it? You, you spill your drink on it? Come on. I spill your drink on it. Come on. What's the <laughs> help, help me on the here, Gary. What is the problem with my mic? Is it the volume or is it the clarity? Uh, yeah, well, it's the clarity. It's a little better now, actually. Yeah, it had that horrible hissing thingy happen, you know, like like vibrations, you know, almost, not feedback, but almost feedback. Yeah, I hope this is better. Actually, I had the uh, I had the mic across the room set to active instead of the one sitting in front of me. Is this better? Yeah, especially when you talk calmly. So let's not get Remy too excited. If he talks calmly, it sounds really good. So, let's <clears throat> not get him angry. I'll start like shouting and saying words like fuck talk. Like I do all the time. Well, look, the beginning is, is that, you know, it is a big deal where we came from. I mean, we see how the whole natural system works. It's dog eat dog. It is nasty, shitty shit. And we're part of that. We're made by that. We're, our, our whole psychology is, is, not our whole psychology, but a big giant piece of our psychology is still owned by DNA. It's got DNA written on it. And that's not a good thing. Well, that's the problem, though, Gary. I mean, the very fact that we evolved seems to be a, a downer. That's a non-starter for you. I mean, for you to for you to be content in this existence, there would have to have been a God who created us with a purpose in mind. No, there would have to be a 500-pound diamond somewhere. Yeah, there'd have to be some kind of... It wouldn't have to be just a God, but he'd have to have an explanation. You'd have to have an excuse for it, the sloppiness and the waste. There'd have to be some kind of prize, some kind of double chocolate cake, triple chocolate cake with Twinkies inside. I mean, some kind of super duper pinata, you know, where, you know, f pussies fly out of it or something. I mean, we, there'd have to be something to justify this slop. And all I'm saying is that doesn't exist. Yeah, we can't make it out of the crude reality we can't make it out of any god we can make up that's reasonable so yeah that's it just it's kind of fucks the equation i mean this is sort of an important fucking i mean it's not a minor detail it's a pretty major detail if we're just addicts chasing a dna contrived uh, perception of value and at this at the core there's nothing here we're just we're just we can be perceived by a truly enlightened intelligence as, 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 you know, horrifically tortured organisms, as Frankenstein's, you know, eking existence out, you know, out of delusion. Okay, man, I get, I get that that's your view of life. And? Well, again, and, there's no and. There's this big giant negative sitting there in front of the human race and that they're fucking embracing. And they're saying, okay, yeah, let's keep making more of that. Let's keep dragging new victims and throwing them on. If, if, if I'm right, if it's a rickety roller coaster, the DNA roller coaster, it's a piece of shit. And now if we were putting kids on it, then isn't that child abuse? Isn't that a crime somehow? Isn't it wrong to do that? I, I mean, you know, we should have to defend the action. It can't just sit there and say... I mean, you, you're asking about... Act you're, you're asking about... I mean, this goes back to the whole should we give birth question, I think, right? The uh, A, people ain't gonna stop doing it. 
you know, it, 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 it's, I mean, a, a biological function of living things is to create life, so we're going to keep on doing it. So, uh, again, it's the big and. Well, again, 